I've been in this battle with you all since uh, I don't know how long, way back 100 years ago when I was chairman of the judiciary. And the truth of the matter is that uh, um, the problem has gotten worse. Intellectual piracy is, uh, is costing this country uh, and all of you billions of dollars and, uh, and thousands of jobs. And uh, unless we uh, better coordinate uh, all the resources of the federal government to uh, deal with this problem, uh, it's likely to only get worse. The irony is every foreign leader that I meet with, and I mean this literally, not figuratively, every foreign leader I meet with, uh, even if it's not an agenda, I raise the issue. We try to make the point to them that they understand, absent their willingness to clamp down on piracy in their countries, don't they, don't they, don't they understand that they're stunting the intellectual growth of their own country? It's kind of amazing to me how if you can steal it, you don't have to create it. You don't have to develop a creative instinct in your own country. And, uh, and so in a bizarre way, uh, they're, uh, they're helping us uh, not have any real competition in some of the areas you have, although they're stealing it and it offends me. It not only offends you, it costs you, but it offends me that uh, we treat, uh, the international community has treated this as if this were a mild irritant. Uh, it's theft. It's just flat, unadulterated theft. Uh, and uh, it should be dealt with. And uh, one of the things that uh, I wanted to say today, and you're going to hear more from my colleagues, but uh, when we took office, one of the things we wanted to do, and, and not only in response to the coordination with the, uh, the House and the Senate, who have uh, uh, passed legislation relating to filling, creating a, a spot that I'm going to speak about in a second, is that um, uh, up to now, in my view, we have not uh, taken advantage of the notion that if we were to pool all the resources, that exist in various agencies and coordinate them much better, we may have and we believe we will have considerably more impact on the problem. And so Eric Holder, while he's trying to deal with a few mild problems like everything from incredibly controversial issues like uh, global, uh, excuse me, uh, closing Guantanamo to just dealing with the things he has to deal with every single day from the uh, drug policy to crime in the street, to, um, uh, the, uh, what's going on in terms of the abuse of power in, uh, in corporate offices as well. Uh, you know, I mean, this is a, uh, uh, he has nonetheless decided to uh, set up an intellectual property enforcement training and technical assistance program, uh, provided the resource for it, to go out there and to help train and uh, uh, state local enforcement folks, uh, how to investigate these crimes, how to deal with and prevent intellectual property crimes in the first place. Now, you may say that's pretty simplistic. Well, the truth of the matter is uh, we've been doing that for local officials for a long, long time. We have trained them how to deal with violence against women in the community. We've trained them to deal with how to deal with career criminals. We have used the resources of the Justice Department to go out there and help equip local officials to uh, do their job a lot better. The FBI has been training local law enforcement people for a long, long time. And so this is really the first time we're doing this in a kind of coordinated way that, uh, that I think has been long overdue. Secretary Napolitano, I still call her governor, but uh, uh, Secretary Napolitano um, is, uh, in addition to doing a few minor things she has to do with Homeland Security and deal with the, uh, the increased threats that exist out there, uh, she is, uh, she's doing the same thing. She is setting up, a, well, center set up, but she's going to further coordinate uh, all the activities, the FBI, Customs, Postal Service, Secret Service, to take it in, uh, in a very serious way and try to figure out how to um, leverage uh, these assets so that we end up with a, uh, a more significant uh, enforcement and prevention uh, um, capacity.